In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect your device to the RFSOC 4x2 board and then configure it to upload files and run Jupyter Notebooks. So the first step is to connect the Ethernet port and the JTAG port of the RFSOC 4x2 board to your laptop. The next step is to install TerraTerm if you don't already have it. The next step is to launch TerraTerm and set up a new connection. Select the serial port and select whichever port the JTAG is connected to. Click on OK. Then go to Setup, Serial Port and then select the baud rate 115200. Click on New Setting. Now switch on your RFSOC 4x2 board. We are going to see the commands of the boot process on our terminal. Once the boot process is complete, wait for the done and inlet LEDs on the RFSOC 4x2 board to become green and the four PL LEDs to blink. Then type the command sudo if config eth0 192.168.22.3 up. This assigns an IP address to the Ethernet port. Enter the password and then go to your browser and type the IP address that you just assigned to the Ethernet port. On the first login, the browser will prompt you to enter a password. It is Xilinx. Go to new folder and then you can rename the new folder. In the new folder, we are going to start by uploading the bitstream and hardware handoff file that we generated from the block design. Make sure that the names of these two files are the same. Next, we are going to upload our modified driver codes. We are also going to upload transmitter.py and receiver.py. Lastly, we are going to upload the Jupyter Notebooks. In the next video, I will demonstrate how to run the Jupyter Notebooks.